Hi everyone, my name is Ali. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make these really cute star crochet earmuffs. So they look like this. And I got some comments saying they wanted a tutorial on it in my last video because I made it, but I perfected it. And I've also made a written pattern and I'll link it in the description down below. It's at my website loopbyally.com. I also started making TikToks again, so feel free to check those out at Loop by Ally on TikTok and Instagram. Make sure to comment the color you're making your earmuffs in and who you're making it for, whether it's for yourself or if it's for another person. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial. If you do, give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. To make these earmuffs, you'll need some yarn. I'm using bulky yarn. I'll leave the types I'm using down below in the description box. A nine millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a headband, and last but not least, to make it all fluffy, some polyfill. The first step to making these star earmuffs is making the star. We're gonna start with a magic circle. So if you don't know how to make a magic circle, I'll have a link to a video in the description, um, but I'll just demonstrate it kind of slowly for you. So first, put your two fingers together and then have your yarn go over like that. Make an X when you cross it over like that and then bring it over while you turn your fingers and it should be parallel lines on this side and then across on this side. Then you're gonna take your hook you're gonna slide it under the first line, over the second line, and catch it with your hook. So pull it under, and then twist. Then over here, do you see this? I don't know how to explain it, but here, you're gonna go yarn over using that piece of yarn, and then pull through. So that is a magic ring. If you need a more in-depth explanation, I'll link it in the description box below. Now, I like to have like the little knot thing at the top, but basically I'm going to do five single crochets into the magic ring. So I'm gonna insert my hook into the magic ring, yarn over, pull through back, through that hole, so I have two loops on the hook now, yarn over and then pull through two. So that's one single crochet into the magic ring. Again, I'll have a more in-depth video on how to do this. Then you're gonna insert the hook again, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and do three more single crochets into the loop. So three, four, and five. So I have five single crochets into the magic ring. Then with the tail, you can pull it tight. And there should be no gap. I'm gonna use a spare piece of yarn as a stitch marker. So I'm just gonna overlay it where that new row is gonna start. I don't know why I used why I always use horse colors for tutorials, but it's fine. So you have one, two, three, four, five stitches. So we're gonna go into that first stitch here. So insert your hook into that first stitch. Do an increase. Two single crochets into the first stitch. So one, and the second one, two. And then, two more single crochets into the next stitch. So one and two. Increase in every single stitch until you end up with 10. Okay, so now you should have 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Then with the stitch marker, I'm gonna lay it over so I know where the beginning is. And now we're gonna do one single crochet and then two single crochets in the next stitch. So that's an increase. So we're gonna insert our hook into the first stitch and do a simple single crochet. 
And then in the next stitch, we're gonna do an increase. So two single crochets. So one and two. Then repeat the same process. So one single crochet and then two single crochets in the next stitch. Continue, so one single crochet and then two single crochets. One single crochet, two single crochets. One, and then increase. And we're gonna do one more row. So flip the stitch marker to the other side, and then we're gonna do two single crochets, so one, and then one in the next one, and then an increase. So we'll start in the first stitch, so one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second stitch, and then an increase. So two single crochets in that third stitch. Again, so one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second stitch, and then two single crochets in the third stitch. So repeat that three more times. There, you have three rounds. This is what it should look like. Now we're gonna make the points, five points. So I'm just gonna get rid of this stitch marker. You don't really need it anymore. So in that same stitch that you just did that last single crochet in, you're going to do a half double crochet into that same one. So let's do a half double crochet in the same stitch, then a double crochet A half double crochet and then a single crochet. I know that's a lot of stitches but you'll end up with this point and then we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch so right here slip stitch. Uh, oh a slip stitch is basically so you insert your hook so we're gonna do it again in the next one yarn over pull through and then pull through. Then we'll do three slip stitches in total. And then after you do three slip stitches, you're gonna do a single crochet into the next stitch. Then a half double crochet in the same stitch. Then a double crochet into the same stitch. then a half double crochet into the same stitch, then a single crochet. And we have our second point. We're going to slip stitch into that next stitch, so slip stitch. And then another slip stitch. another slip stitch. So that's three slip stitches in total. And then into the next one, we're gonna do a single crochet, a half double crochet, a double crochet, a half double crochet, and a single crochet. So that is the third point. And then again, we're gonna do three slip stitches and then another point. So insert into the next stitch and let's do a slip stitch. Two, another slip stitch. Three, another slip stitch. And then we're at another point. So do a single crochet, 
then a half double crochet into the same stitch, a double crochet into the same stitch, then a half double crochet, then a single crochet into the same stitch. Now we're gonna do three more slip stitches. So one into the next stitch, two and three, and then we're ready to make our last point. So as you've been doing this entire time, this is gonna be simple for you now. So single crochet, half double crochet into the same stitch, a double crochet, a half double crochet, and then a single crochet into the same stitch. Then we're gonna fill it out or finish it off with doing three slip stitches. So one slip stitch in the next stitch. Ah. So that is that. And you're gonna repeat this process four times. So three more times after this. If you're using this star to attach to the other one, we don't wanna cut it. So instead of doing the three single, three slip stitches as we usually do. I just did one slip stitch because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the right sides of the stars together. So I have this other one and I'm gonna put this one on top of it. So you can see where this one ends and this one ends is the same because we kind of want it to line up that way. So after we do that, we're gonna chain one you're going to go through the front loop and then the back loop of the other one, the other star. Then you're going to single crochet. Again, so the front loop and then the back loop, single crochet, front loop, back loop, single crochet, front loop, back loop, and then I'm just going to speed this up. Okay, so I just finished single crocheting around the entire perimeter and you're gonna wanna leave like a space at the top to put your headband in. But I'm going to like bring, I'm gonna flip it inside out. So I just made the working loop really big so it doesn't unravel. So you're gonna have to fit everything through this tiny hole. So just start and work your way by pushing out all of the corners. This is kind of tricky because the yarn is so thick, but just little by little, work it inside out. And once you have like majority inside out, you can just take your little crochet hook and poke it out. Ah, it's so cute. You do not know how many times I've redone it because originally I tried to use like the more fuzzy yarn and it would always look really bad. But this time it lo actually looks like a star. Yay! And then what I'm gonna do is leave a really long tail because we need to attach it to the headband after. So really long tail and pull it through. Perfect. So now we have this kind of shape, oops. This kind of shape, but we need to fill it with some fluff. You don't need that much. Because it's thick yarn, you can kind of see the fluff from the holes, which we don't really want, but it's kind of inevitable. So we're just going to stuff a little bit at a time and really get it into those corners so it's not just like the middle that is fluffy. So now we have two fluffy stars. And now we're good to go to move to the headband. So for the headband, 
We're gonna start to cover it because I'm sorry, but we don't want this lame regular black color. And we're gonna do four single crochets into the magic ring. So one, two, three, and four. So after that, you're gonna pull it tight and we're just gonna do a simple, one single crochet in each loop until we can do the length of the entire hairband. So let's start. So in the first stitch, let's do a single crochet. You see this kind of like tube? Just make sure that your headband fits in it. Oh yeah, it fits. So we're gonna keep doing that until we're done the entire perimeter. Okay, so I just crocheted this huge tube and I think it is long enough. So I'm just gonna like, it's better to make it longer than not because then you can always just uh, unravel it a bit. <laughs> this is kind of funny. I don't know why. And then I'm going to chop the excess off. pull it through to secure it. And then I take my hook and I'm just going to pull it through all the loops. Just like secure it at the end. So just insert your hook into each stitch and then just pull it through. And then just end it off. A little knot to secure it. Okay. The final step to making these earmuffs is to attach the star onto the headband. And to do that, I like to use a darning needle, but you can also just use a crochet hook. So this is my other star. And then this is like inserted up to here. So I kind of want to do the same for the other one just to make sure it's even. So, I wish it was stretched out a little more. I think that would look better, but, or like that. I don't know how to do that though. So I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna take my darning needle and thread the end through. And now I'm going to start just catching it. So I'm going to go from this side first and then I'm just going to attach it to the headband. So we're literally just sewing it all around. If you prefer to do like a single crochet instead, go for it. I just find this a lot easier than having to like stick the needle in and like struggling with it. Um, I only have these like pointy darning needles, but if you do, try to use the dull ones because then it'll be easier if you make a mistake to undo it. But yeah, this is pretty simple. It's just having to make sure that everything is securely on so nothing shifts so getting the size right on your head is um crucial or else you have to like undo it which is not good so let me just test it right now like this one's perfect 
Because I also have like another pair of um, earmuffs and I'm just like matching it to that. So. And it's kind of up to you like how much you want to sew, but I want to make it really secure as possible. I'm just going to keep sewing it around until I'm happy with how these sit because this one's really like secure. This is like stuck in, you know? So I want the same thing for my head, not my headphones, my earmuffs because I want them to be good quality. So that's it for this tutorial. Just knot it off whenever you're done. And I hope that you are able to make your own pair of earmuffs. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and you were able to make your very own pair of star earmuffs. I'm going to have a earmuff series because I am obsessed with earmuffs right now. And don't forget to check out my TikTok and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up, comment, anything if you haven't. It really helps my channel out and I would really appreciate it. And thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.